now we are going to discuss about the vim key process analytics so this is something it's called the kpi reports where you can get a type of 360 degree view of all the what are the things that are happening in invoice so here you can see what is the total liability based on the company code based on the client and the company code you can check the channel analysis the channel analysis tells you what are the different channels it's coming from whether it's coming through edi it's coming through email if you have multiple email you can check those things also it gives you uh, uh, statistics or how many how many invoices are posted and how many are in transit which is not postable but is in your system and uh, another important thing is the first pass the first pass tells you anything which came into invoices and without any touch it got posted so those are the perfect invoices where uh, we paid where we posted an invoice without any touch by any person in this company and then you have the top five exceptions by count so uh, as in the previous slides we explained the exception report here here it tells you what are the top five exceptions that happens in the system and also then you have the top five vendors by amount so you want to sometimes say hey what are the vendors that we pay the most and the five most paid vendors so here you can see hey we pay this amount to these vendors and accordingly you can probably cut a deal with those vendors hey you know we are going to pay you 10 million dollars every month we are paying you so why don't you give us a discount or increase our uh, payment terms so that we have to pay you late or give us some benefits because you are a top vendor and you are a prime vendor so this takes care of all the of all these type of analytics in one particular view so this is useful for any upper management uh, people who wants to see a look and feel of what is happening in high level because it doesn't go much into the detail levels which you don't want but on the high level you get to know all the analytics portion and it's very much useful for suppose the chief accounting officer wants to uh, only wants to provide his the information about his team how it's working because accounts people falls under the accounting business area so this is very useful for those of those users who are on the high level to get an overview of what's happening in in under their process area